welcome to day six of the Booktubeathon. And today, to begin the Booktubeathon adventures of my day, I am actually right now driving out to a place that is very near all of us um, to meet up with Jen and Christina and Justin to go to the Half Price Books dollar sale. Everything is apparently one dollar, and that is super exciting. Um, so yeah. I should be at home reading right now, but I'm not. I have some errands I have to do after this meetup, and I also have a meeting. So I'm hoping that after all of this shenanigans, I will be able to get home and finish Anna and the French Kiss and begin the Mercy List because everybody else, like I said, is already begun or has decided they are beginning today, and I really want to read that with everyone and not be alone. So anyway, I am hoping to pick up the Maya Dyer books that are out, um, possibly the Cinder series. Okay, you guys, so I am here, and I don't think you guys can see it from here, but there is a line. So since I am the first one here, I'm going to go ahead and hop in that line, and while I do, I'm going to get some more reading done in Anna and the French Kiss. Yep. Ah, here we go. This is fun. I've never done something like this before. <laughs> so how do you think that went? How was your haul? It went really well. I was expecting, like I gave myself a $20 limit and I spent $11 and got a giant tote bag. Oh my goodness. So I'm happy. So that's 11 <laughs> books then? Yep. Or Yeah. Bucks. Justin, how about you? Oh, you sorry. got? Um, I may have gone a little overboard. Well, how many books? 30. What? I thought I did bad. I got 11 and two of them are gifts. <laughs> I know, one of mine was a gift too. I found like the complete set of a like graphic novel series that I had never heard of. <laughs> so you had to have it. All right, you guys, I am driving home now. Thank you so much for coming along on this crazy adventure of Booktubeathon Day 6. So I just got back from the crazy running around that was my meeting and the dollar book sale at Half Price Books. Okay, so quickly checking in. Yesterday I polished off Kill Shakespeare Volume 2 in a matter of about an hour and I began Anna and the French Kiss. That's about how far I got. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to polish this off in the next hour or two and then I'm going to be moving on to The Merciless along with Cassie and Christina and Jen and everybody else who's already started it. I just have to finish Anna and the French Kiss. To be completely honest, I'm not fully convinced that I will be able to finish this Booktubeathon 7 Books Challenge. I know for sure I will be getting through the Merciless and I hope to finish Reached by tomorrow night at midnight, but I'm not convinced that I will be able to finish or even begin Harry Potter. So, eh. I'm happy with what I've done so far though. So quickly I want to throw in here my half price bookstore haul. First of all I purchased A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray because I figured if I had it and owned it instead of having to have it from the library then I wouldn't have to worry about returning it. Next I got three books by E. Lockhart. I got E. Lockhart's The Boyfriend List, The Boy Book, and The Treasure Map of Boys. I'm not sure which order these go in or whatever, but they're all sort of like companion novels, so I picked them up because they were all a dollar. Then Christina pointed out and suggested that I get and read Peeps by Scott Westerfield. Um, she has, she really, really loves The Uglies, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this book is all about and then also buying and reading The Uglies at some point down the road as well. Browsing around in the adult section because the young adult section was measly to say the least, um, I found The Secret Life of Bees by whoever this is by, Sue Monk Kid. I just figured this was a book that I should probably read because, you know, everybody is reading it and it's a thing that people read, so I'll probably give that a read at some point, but I'm not going to make it a priority. Browsed around in the comic book section a little bit trying to find some more of the Buffy graphic novels for Emily, but I couldn't. I did find this. This particular comic though, Diesel by Tyson Hesse. This is volume one. I don't really know what it's about. You know, who knows what this is about, but maybe she'll like it. Over in that same comic book manga section, I found volume two of Akiko by Mark Crilly. My sister growing up really, really liked Akiko and I read them all because she read them all. We all swapped them back and forth and it was an interesting story and a funny comic and so I saw this and I thought I better get this for her. It'll be good for the lols if nothing else and just a trip down memory lane. So there you go. 
I also meandered over into the old book section and I found this beautiful book, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. If any of you guys know me at all, you know that old books are my guilty pleasure. I love old books. I just love having them around. This edition is a 1948 edition. So by no means probably older than some of the other ones that were there, but I just thought this one was so pretty that I had to get it. And as I was checking out this book called my name, this is called Storyteller. It's the authorized biography of Roald Dahl, and I love Roald Dahl. I think he was such a cool guy. He was such a cool man, and I've seen some shorts, some short documentary stuff on him, and he just has a really interesting life, and so I'm pretty interested to see what this Donald Struck has to say about his life. Um, so it's very thick. I probably won't put a priority on this, but um, I'm excited to read that nonetheless. So that was my little half price bookstore haul and it was really fun just to kind of go and just get some books with Justin and Jen and Christina and it was really fun and I wish that more half price books did that. We got there at 10 o'clock and there was already a line but it was still really really fun even though the young adult section was not very big and I didn't get the Cinder series or the Maya Dyer series. I'll just have to buy them somewhere else I suppose. Honestly, because this video is probably already quite long and because I have not really truly eaten all day and it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm not going to do the video challenge for today. My food is calling my name in the other room and I want to edit this video so I can try to read as much as possible. I will probably do the video challenge today, tomorrow, so that I'll do two video challenges in one but I just don't have the time or the energy right now to do it. My apologies so, so much. Be sure to check out my girlfriend Emily's videos because they are fabulous, as well as our friend Christina because they are also wonderful and they make me laugh. There are a ton of really funny videos happening right now in BookTube because of all the challenges that are happening and the video challenges. Anyway, sorry again that I'm not doing the challenge in this video, but watch for it tomorrow. I'll probably do it then. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go eat food now. Bye!